I've been being an asshole a bunch of times. Hello, okay. everybody. Welcome to another episode of uh, Multiplex Movie Melee. We got ourselves a, a pseudo debut, pseudo, you know, just kind of en entering match. We got uh, Abel Deleu going up against uh, David Garcia. Should, uh, you know, uh, both guys, you know, made uh, may staple themselves in the fandom division. But, you know, they, they, they watch regular movies. I mean, we all do. So, you know what? Uh, they're both here, ready to mix it up, have a little bit of fun. You know, probably got yourselves a good one today. Let's go ahead and bring in our first competitor. We uh, we got David and his manager, Avi. Guys, it's a little bit early. Yeah. Late for you guys, I think. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> How are you doing? I, I feel fine. I feel ready. I mean, you know what? I feel generous today because I had a conversation with Abel the other day. So I'm going to do something for him. And since I have Javi here with me, we are going to start talking in Spanish this whole match so Abel can get better at his Spanish. He asked me to help him learn my language, our language. So, Javi, ¿te parece? Sí, podemos hacer eso. One Perfecto. quick thing in English. Um, okay. We do have Alex on standby, just in case. Yes, um, yeah. If, if David drops, he'll just play for David and it's going to yeah. be great. Because that's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> I really hope that doesn't happen. Buena suerte. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Bye. Uh, we're bringing uh, your opponent, it's, uh, Abel, but uh, his manager, Mr. Anthony Tesdall. Guys, hey, dude. Hola. Oh, David. Um, no problem. Um, David, aquí. No problem. <laughs> Quiero problema. Mucho, no problema. Quiero mucho practicar mi español. Entonces, podemos hablar este partido. Todo en español. Sí, claro que sí. Pero por mí uh, hablas muy despacio, ¿no? Vale, bien. Muy despacio, claro. Despacio. Um, entonces, uh, Anthony, Antonio. I, I don't, I have no idea what just happened. Um, I didn't know they were going to let you in Melee because you already create havoc over in Fandom, but I guess I guess you're here too. So, uh, sí, y sin camisa. I keep this going. I just okay. I got nothing. It sounded like it sounded like good Spanish. So excellent work. Solid. Oh, uh, okay. Happening. Why am I here? I don't know. <laughs> I'll say. Right, we'll say say goodbye to you for now. Oh <laughs> uh, God. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's just get started. Uh, round number one. It's gonna work like this. Uh, you're gonna get oh, a no. question. No, 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 I'm in class. Oh boy, it'll be a long one then. Okay. Uh, okay. Eight questions, eight uh, general movie categories. You're going to have 15 seconds to write the answer down on your whiteboard. And at that time, you're going to show and verbalize your answer. Uh, get all eight correct. Uh, you're going to get a bonus question also worth one point. You also got our three repeats and challenges throughout the match. I think I said everything, but do you have any other questions before I get going? No, quiero mucho el pregunta de bonus. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to say this. You, you don't say your answer in English. I'm not going to count it. I don't know what you're saying. It says Menchaca. My name's Menchaca. I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> so we're just shut that shit down right now. <laughs> your first question coming to category directors. Who directed entries in the Mission Impossible, Star Wars, and Star Trek franchises? I did not know how long I was going to let this, you know, uh, Spanish speaking thing go until I had to say, I don't speak fucking Spanish. It's not in my <laughs> repertoire. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. All right, let's go to Abel. G. G. Abrams. Okay. Uh, David. J. 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 Abrams. J. J. Abrams. Please don't say J. J. like that ever. <laughs> <laughs> J, no? J, J. <laughs> Doesn't sound great. I know what that word means. Uh, all right, go. JJ Abrams was correct. Uh, go on to your next question the category of horror. In what 80s horror sequel does the main character's severed hand get possessed and try to kill him? <laughs> okay. I just, I'm sorry, I had to take a look at a 
people's expression on that one. Just, uh, it was a little funny. Both were perplexed. Confident in the first one. I mean, uh, five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Pens down. Yeah. Pens down. Mm. Okay. Uh, let's go, David. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Dos. <laughs> Dos. <laughs> I will let you have. Uh, Nuevo Nightmare. Oh. <laughs> It was Evil Dead 2. Evil Dead 2 is the correct answer. <laughs> uh, going on to your next question, the category of actors and actresses. Who has appeared in American Ultra, Rio, and The Squid and the Whale? I forget sometimes. I got to sit here and banter by myself. and That never really goes particularly well. Like It just... As me saying a whole bunch of nonsense. It sounds silly, but I'm going to do it anyway. It's my job. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to, back to Abel. Jesse Eisenberg. Cool. All right, David. You got uh, Jesse Eisenberg is correct. Uh, Abel, John First Blood in that one. Taking lead two to one. Going to your next question in the category of classics. What type of business does Chuck Tatum, played by Kirk Douglas, work for in Ace in the Hole? <laughs> David, you can do No. I, I can guarantee <laughs> oh, both no, competitors no. that no, this no. is a real film <laughs> that did come out a while ago because it is a, a classic. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go, David. Casino, or in English, casino. Okay. <laughs> um, cab company. Hmm. I don't know. But, oh, uh, it's a uh, Bolvar Correct. It was a newspaper. It works for a newspaper. Uh, I don't know what that's thing in there. All right. Go on to the next question in the category of Oscars. Name one of the four actresses to lose Best Supporting Actress to Ariana DeBose. I uh, thought I was going to butcher that for a second there. Saw that name panned a little bit, but you know, I think I got it okay. I believe that's how you say your name. If not, I just screwed over these guys. It is what it is. Right. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> Four. <laughs> I blame you. Ben's out. Ben's out. Ben's out. Ben's out. Can't take it. Yeah. Sorry, I can't take it. Uh, uh, David. Street. Street and okay. And yeah, well, you're cute. You're you're riding the whole time. I can't think. Catherine Hunter. Uh, oh, it was incorrect anyway. Uh correct answer we're looking for is Jesse Buckley, uh Judy Dench, Kirsten Dunst, and uh Anjay New Ellis. I think An Anjay New Ellis. Yeah. Who was the she went for West Side Story? She went for what the new West Side Story. Oh, okay. Um, okay. All right, moving on to the next category in uh Next question, category of 1970s. What Oscar-winning composer composed the score for Chinatown? Mm. No, uh, no confusion there. I can, I know exactly how to say Chinatown. It's right there. It spells that sounds. And it's fine. Five, four, three, two. One pans down. Uh, yeah, let's go to Abel. Yeah, so get uh, Jerry Goldsmith. All ready and David. Ennio Morricone. Uh, Jerry Goldsmith. It's correct. Ah, answer. nice. Uh, take that one. Abel going up three to one on that one. Going to penultimate question. Come in the category of drama. In what film will you find a pornographic filmmaker named Jack Horner? The category is drama. Yeah, it was one of those ones. It's up there. Uh, yeah, I, I was going to have something funny, and then, you know, just kind of gone. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Uh, let's go, David. Let's make a porno. It's a comedy. But, uh... Stack and mirror. 
<laughs> I stopped it for a bit. Uh, Boogie Nights? Boogie Nights. It's the correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's cosa, me has engañado. <laughs> <laughs> Go to your uh, last question, round number one. Go to the category of animated. In the Super Mario Brothers movie, Peach consumes a power up that lets her do what at her wedding? Mm. This movie. It was okay. I saw it. Did not have any children with me. Hecho mirar ah. esta película, pero... Ver. Everybody's like, yeah, I'm the one doing this. No, sorry. Five, four, three, two, mm, repeat. One. Repeat, okay. Your question again. In the Super Mario Brothers movie, Peach consumes a power-up that lets her do what at her wedding? Yeah. All the hosts today are sure sorry they didn't get to be here. I'll tell you that. I so wish they were here right now. <laughs> I'm going to ask all of them. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. All right, let's go to David. Yeah, that's right. Should ice balls? Okay. Uh, Apple. No recuerdo. Grow big. Uh. We'll accept uh, shoot ice balls. Uh, shoot ice, you know, is what shoot ice freeze is what we're looking for. So uh, David getting that one right, going to score up to two, Abel up to four, and uh, with that, we'll move on to round number two, which is the wheel round, which uh, both our competitors will get a chance to spin our wheel. If they like what they land on the first time, they can keep it. If not, they can like to spin again, but they must keep what they land on the second time. Uh, you're going to get five questions from the category that you land on were two points apiece. So you also check down a multiple choice for one point. Uh, there is stealing, so watch your ass. Uh, the category on tonight's on uh, tonight's wheel are, uh, are uh, post-2000 Disney Studios live-action franchises. That was a mouthful. Uh, comic books, <laughs> Christopher Nolan, 1990s, music, biopics, drama, Actors and actresses, as well as spinners and opponents' choice. Uh, Abel, you are in the lead, so it will be uh, your option to spin first to defer. Here's your manager to help you make that call. You got That's four. That's fifty percent. That's better than I expected. Uh, no, what do you want to do? You're really your choice. I mean, this wheel is probably the same for both of you guys. No, 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 lo prefiero. Um, I'm going to need you to say it in English. And and, uh, and primero. I'm a, I'm assuming you're deferring. Please say C. Oh, no, first. Oh, first. first. Oh, I guess okay. Premiero. I get Premier first. That makes sense. Yeah, if you want to go okay. Premiero or whatever, that's fine. I'll learn Spanish someday. I, I really should well, learn a language. Well, Abel, this is your first spin. <laughs> if you land on music, would you like to keep that or spin again? Uh, no. um, How is music? Uh, compared uh, to the hmm? Spin again, uh, see or no. David, can you translate that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's go again. Okay, thank you. Okay. Just play your guess. Guess. Mark, I'm with you, man. I got no, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Hobby's going to be me. so much better. No, and you, that's what you're going to take. There you go. Good luck. Yeah. Say it in English. Make sure you don't lose a point because you say it in Spanish, you jackass. <laughs> that would be preferable. All right. Since I'm the only one here, I'll be asking your questions at Christopher Nolan. Cool. First question. Who plays Nikola Tesla in The Prestige? David Bowie. David Bowie is correct for two points. Go on to your next question. Mucho gusto. What? Oh, great. What city is following primarily set in? Five, four, three, mm, two, multiple choice one. Four, four, choice. All right. Multiple choice options are A, London, B, New York City, C, Berlin, or D, Los Angeles. Mm.
London. That's correct for a point. Right, moving on to your next question. From Insomnia, what type of location do Dormer and Finch meet at for the first time? Five. Um, a ferry. That is correct for two points. All right, on to your penultimate question. In the dark night, Joker threatens to blow up a hospital unless who uh, is killed? Uh, mm. Three. Well, two. Uh, multiple choice options are A, Lucius Fox, B, Coleman Reese, C, Harvey Dent, or D, Sal Maroney? B, Coleman Reese. Yeah, B, Coleman Reese is correct for a point. And we your last question in the category. In Tenet, what type of item do the protagonist and Neil attempt to steal from an airport? Five, four, three, two, one. All right, that'll be your second repeat. Question mm -hmm. again. In Tenet, what type of item do the protagonist and Neil attempt to steal from an airport? A painting? Uh, painting is correct uh, for two points. <clears throat> All right. And uh, with that, it gets a uh, awful score up to 12. David is at two. So with that, we'll bring back up the wheel and his manager, Javi. And uh, this will be your first spin, David. Que pasa, Javi? Que <laughs> Uh, you land on your strike of the post 2000s Disney Studios live action franchises. Would you like to keep that or spin again? Creo que deberíamos tenerlo. No? Sí, creo que sea, hay, hay que cogerlo. A ver, a ver, a ver con qué nos sorprenden, pero. Sí, no? <laughs> Perfecto. We'll keep it. Yeah, that's what I figured. All right. By the wheel. Goodbye, Javi. <laughs> oh, I think he was going to say something. Sorry. Buenas tardes, oh. uh, David. Gracias. All right. Well, David, yeah. you prepare for your questions post 2000s. Disney Studios live action franchises. Oh boy. See. Sí. Okay. Your first question. In what Disney live action film will you find a ship called the HMS Interceptor? Interceptor, that's Pirates of the Caribbean, the Curse of the Black Bear. That is correct for two points. All right, your next question. What is the name of the dwarf played by Peter Dinklage in the Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian? Oh. Five. Four. Fuck three. it. Uh, no, multiple choice. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I almost... Oh, my God, I really wish he had just said it. Uh, a, Nickabrick. B, Crundledron. C, Miraz. Or D, Trumpkin. What? Trumpkin. Mm -hmm. ah, that, is for one, that is correct <laughs> for one point. God, I really wish I didn't have to read this. Multiple choice off. Your next question. Who plays NASCAR driver Trip Murphy in Herbie Fully Loaded? Oh, his name. Ah, multiple choice. All right. Multiple choice options are A, C, Thomas Howell, B, Rob Lowe, D, Judd Nelson, 
or D, Matt Dillon? I think I meant to say C, Judd Nelson. Le veo la cara, pero... Jack Nelson? Oh, that is uh, incorrect. Going over to... Uh, going to Abel for the one-point steal. Is it A, C, Thomas Howell, B, Rob Lowe, C, Judd Nelson, or D, Matt Dillon? Lo siento, amigo. Era Matt, Matt Dillon. Matt Dillon is correct for the one-point steal. All right. All right. Next question. In National Treasure, what item is discovered to be the key that opens the chamber containing the treasure? Oh, um. <coughs> Five, four, three. Repeat that two. question. All right, that is your first repeat your question again. In National Treasure, what item is discovered to be the key that opens the chamber containing the treasure? Ale, David, tú lo sabes. Um, how would you say? Like a, a pipe. <laughs> that is correct for two things. <laughs> okay. And your last question in the category. What university did Maya graduate in the Princess Diaries 2 Royal Engagement? Harvard. That is incorrect. Going over to Abel for the two point steal. Vale. <laughs> No multiple choice. Can't go multiple choice. Uh, and, uh, um, Sarah Lawrence. Okay, uh, that is incorrect. We're looking for Princeton. Yeah, uh, what are you there? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> okay, I don't understand that at all. Uh, okay, well, with that, we're going to go to round number three, uh, which. Uh, Oh, God, I'm just thrown off. Right now. We're going to go to round number three, which is our new pick your poison round, uh, in which uh, our competitors will get a chance to uh, pick from a list of categories. They're still going to get those. Uh, they're going to be able to draft from those list of categories. They get eight categories. Whatever, uh, Whenever somebody's picked a category, uh, your opponent cannot uh, get a question from said category. Uh, you're going to answer four, you know, four of these questions at uh, one, two, three, four points apiece. Categories that you can select from today are the 1980s. Mystery thriller, family, romance, war, biopics, westerns, and romantic comedies. Uh, we're going to pick uh, those categories now, or unless it's a cutout, which uh, we'll be back to answer questions after this, I suppose. Here we go. We're going into starting round number three. Like I said, uh, Abel is ahead uh, 13 to 7. So we'll start with you, David. Mm -hmm. uh, you can pick up. Uh, what uh, category you'd like to answer from and from what point value? All right, so uh, Westerns for one, please. Westerns for one point. All righty. Here's your question in Westerns. And also a reminder, you have two more repeats. Mm -hmm. How is Maddie related to the dead man she asked for Rooster's help to avenge in True Grit? The others, hermano, hija, hermana, hija, hermana, hija, hermana, hija, three daughter. As incorrect, we're looking for father, we're asking for a relation to the dead man. Can I? She's his daughter. Can I bring Javi, please? Yeah, because that's what. Okay. Like, I'm, I'm yeah, can, can you I put the question? Yeah. Okay. How is Maddie related to the dead man she asked for Rooster's help to avenge in True Grit? Yeah, yes, how is Maddie daughter. related to the dead yes, man? Yes, she's his daughter. How is the dead man related she to She is Maddie? his she daughter, is right? Daughter. Yeah, that should we, definitely... We challenge that. 
Yeah, okay. old Tom's at right now. Yeah. <laughs> right. We're back after this challenge. Should have burned this place down when I had a chance. All right. Uh, yeah, uh, daughter was correct. We uh, cleared that up. Yeah, took like an hour, but we did it. Uh, <laughs> but so, David, uh, now you're, you're still behind. So mm -hmm. uh, what uh, category would you like to take for what point value? It was lacking in my life and gave me romance for two. You got it. <laughs> and I'm on. <laughs> romance for two. All right. Your question. Reese Witherspoon and Mark Ruffalo star in what 2000s romance film? Usar tu corazón. Legally Blonde 2, I don't know. Uh, that is incorrect. Uh, we're looking for Just Like Heaven. Uh -huh. Just Like Heaven. All righty. And uh, that means you're down. So uh, we'll have to stick with you. Uh, what yep. category like to take for what point value? 80s, please. 80s for four, for four. three, right? It, can you take it for three or for four? Doesn't matter. For three. 80s for three. Ah, okay. Okay, wait. Yes. It is for three, family for four. That's, I don't know why, Javi. Hey, uh, you don't have to go in that order, David. You can go and you can start with your four, just your three. So if you just want to answer a family question, I just take it. Because oh. if you miss your three, you're not going to be able to be able to answer your four. Ooh, la familia. Ah, yeah. yeah so give me, oh, all right. All right. Thank you. I'm still getting, okay. So yeah, give me the four in family and just get over with it. Get this over with. All right. All right <laughs> so go over to four in family. But, well, like what Javi was saying, yes. Like if you do not uh, get yeah. this question, uh, yeah, that's, that, that's the end of the game. So uh, you have to hit it to ch get a chance to send this over back over to Hobble. So your four pointer and family. In what family film will you find a main character whose parents were killed by a rhinoceros? Un rinoceronte. Wow. Pero no un tiburón. Five, four, three. Keep two. the question. All right. As your second, repeat your question again. Uh, in what family film will you find a main character whose parents were killed by a rhinoceros? You know, a shout out to your teammate. Can get a jack. And your winner. <laughs> Would have been amazing. <laughs> I'll, I'll delay you. Uh, the correct answer was James and the Giant Peach. Okay. So, so with that, uh, we'll bring it. Uh, uh, we'll talk to uh, second place finish today, David, David, and your manager, uh, Anthony. Uh, no, that's that's. I mean, that's I don't care. Bad. I like Anthony, that's but. <laughs> what, is, what am I doing? I've done this before, guys. Well, David. Yeah. You got the answer from your strength today, which is always fun. You know, yeah. Nika did decent. Uh, you were able to uh, just uh, just couldn't quite uh, get, get enough of those uh, round three questions to send it back over to Hobble. But uh, how do you feel like you did today? Uh, well, I got two in round one, which is always my goal. So it's fine. Uh, and... I was thinking Jerry Goldsmith in the scores and soundtracks for some reason, just because I know he's an old composer, but I went with the other old composer I know. Um, but, and then the only thing I'm kicking myself about is Trumpkin, not saying it for you. But I feel fine. I mean, yeah. yeah. You hit yeah, a Western's yeah. question. That was the, yeah. one of the few things you didn't want for round I three. Think that was, yeah. Well, the only you didn't want a lot of things for round three, but those were the hard yeah. no's. We are not taking those <laughs> unless we're forced into it. Um, yeah. So we did it. Um, yeah, all right. And I won a challenge. I mean, granted, it was a... Yeah. Whatever, we did it. Yeah. Hooray. Yeah. We didn't get knocked out either. That's also a good goal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I uh, believe it just, uh, this does make you just... Uh, own one. I believe this uh, was actually your debut match coming here. So uh probably gonna bring you back. Oh, you want to play? Who would uh I'm not good at this either, buddy. You could just choose me. One of us will come away with a win. You are better than me. 
I don't know about that. You know what? Someone that's not a fandom player, so I can pick Star Wars. Mm. Oh, okay. Good idea. We'll see what, I love that. We'll see what we can do about that. Uh, but I will say goodbye to you guys right now. Goodbye, Holly. Goodbye, David. Thank you for being here. I bring your winner today. It's Abel. And his manager this time, I swear to God, it is this time. It's Anthony. Oh, no. Oh, andale. <laughs> Antonio. Que tal? So, so um, you know, I got to be honest with you. You maybe got to explain to me the Princeton thing. I just, I don't think, <laughs> nothing will throw me off more in a match ever. <laughs> I was, so I was just zoned out completely. And I was watching football. And you asked me for the answer and i was like wait what the fuck was the question and i was just trying to think what the question was <laughs> you didn't go with the thing that was written on your board right in front no of you. i didn't i was i just was no i didn't know what was going on anymore so i just <laughs> yeah it doesn't you know it doesn't matter because you won today see yeah, I'm I'm really you, on, on, on muy feliz partido. you know neither of us speak spanish right <laughs> At least help him. <laughs> like, I, I, can't help, I can't help you. Un partido. I finally won a match. Okay, there we go. I finally Wait. won one. Now I'm give proud me of you. Uh, how, how do I say? Yeah. How do you say I'm proud of you in Spanish? I don't know. My Spanish is not that good, buddy. I don't okay. know if you can notice. <laughs> I, I can't anymore. I'm not proud of you. I'm going back to Spanish school, so it'll. Uh, ah, estoy orgullosos, orgullosos. There you go. Cool. That's that's what I got. Well, yeah. you, you play well. You got to win. I, I, Mark, I'm, I was happy about this. I uh, I love doing this. I I finally won one, which is great. I uh, want to do another one. Well, uh, did win one. So um, who uh, who else are you gonna? Who else are you? Do you want to uh, grace with your craven vest? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> oh, that yes. Let's go. I want to play this guy. Make it happen. My record's not that good. Melee gods. Oh, well, let's see. What we can do. Yeah. Oh, well, I love that. Congratulations. Goodbye, and then hang it by Abel. Um, wow. You know, it's a lot more Spanish speaking here today than I thought there would be, and you know, which is fine. Like, you know, I should probably learn it at some point. But this was a pretty good match, anyway. You know, both players. You know, I think. Usually in any match, but both players, you know, get the answer from their strength. I think usually everybody leaves somewhat happy. And we got that here today. Abel was just able to pull out the victory. Uh, anyways, that's going to do it for us today. This episode of Multiplex uh, Movie Melee. Thank you, everybody, for coming here today. Uh, thank you, uh, our players, Abel, David, as well as the managers, uh, Anthony and Javi. Thank you for showing up. As well as uh, everybody here who... Uh, does uh, so much great work here uh, in our multiplex, keeping this train on the tracks. And uh, everybody just be well. Goodbye.